All right, awesome. That was great. Can you guys hear me in there? Yes. Oh, that sounded great. Thanks so much uh, for playing. That was uh, really great. Thanks for having us. And uh, I have to, before I forget, we have to thank Gil for engineering. That sounded amazing. Gil, you're yeah, awesome. Thank you, thank you Gil. Um, so we have, uh, let me just run down the band lineup. Uh, Morgan Slade on rhythm guitar and backing vocals. Liz McGrath on lead vocals. Lightning Bill Woodcock on lead guitar and vocals. Cody James on drums. And Sylvan, I don't want to botch your how to say your last name. Okay. Okay, I didn't want it. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, so Miss Derringer. And uh, wow, really great. And tonight at Asbury Lanes. And uh, that's always a good time there, right? You guys have been there before? Yeah, we played last year. We had a blast. So we're looking forward to it again. Tater tots. <laughs> Tater tots. <laughs> and um, you have two albums? Yeah, we have two albums out on Sympathy for the Record Industry. The first one's called uh, King James Crown Royal and a Colt 45. And the second one is called Lullabies. We don't. Uh, we don't even have the first one here. I guess that's pretty hard to find the uh, the first album. That's what I hear. I don't think <laughs> I have one either. <laughs> now, Lullabies was '06. Yeah, Lullabies was a little while ago, and then recently we have a, like a two song EP that we did um, called Black Tears. On yeah, Stay Gold Stay Gold Records. It was on Stay Gold Records, and we're, uh, we're, we're which is actually in New York. Oh, yeah, really? New York. Yeah. Yeah, it's produced by John Kastner from the Doughboys and All Systems Go. Wow, so nice. And we're looking to get into the studio when we get back home and doing the new record actually you know so of the 10 songs you played it looked like about four or five were were new ones i guess or um, or recent ones I think like more that. than yeah more almost half this more than half the set yeah because you have black tears and then about three or four from lullabies wow so so um none of these have been recorded or you've been recording some of them or just well, now oh now there's some pressure right <laughs> <laughs> 50 points that's right <laughs> So, um, so how the band has been around since, like, how long before the first record? A, a year or two, or no? The, well, the first record kind of came about that uh, the owner of Sympathy for the Record Industry, his name is uh, Long Gone John. Sure. He's an art collector, and Liz is an artist. Uh, okay. So uh, he came by to look at some art. He bought, he bought some of Liz's art, and I had some. Me and Liz had just met, started dating, and I had written a song. Uh, this is Morgan. I'd written a song that. Uh, uh, that she liked, and he came in and saw it, and he said, "You know, if we put an album together, we'll make a record." So we didn't really have a band; we just made a record. That's kind of how the second one went too, except we had uh, some good guest appearances. We had Clem Burke from Blondie got to play some drums on there and stuff. And only recently, in the past, like it's a year and a half. Does that sound right? A year and a half. Yeah, yeah we've gotten like an actual real lineup with these with Latin Bill, Cody James, for awesome. So we can actually finally get our sound together and okay. Make so good, this make is a good record for once. <laughs> 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 well, it sounded great today, and. Uh, Thank you. Light and Bill, I have to say, I, I did. I was impressed with the uh, us, using the harmonica, doubling as the slide. So, oh, thank you, thank uh, I don't know you. if you could tell that on the radio. I don't want to give away your trade secrets. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a nice uh, nice move. Thank you, Joe. So uh, so did Long Gone uh, buy any paintings or no? Yeah, he's, he's yeah, he's, uh, but he's since I think um, he stopped doing the record label and he's raising miniature ponies in Washington. Yeah, I <laughs> heard I heard that he had shut the label down. I yeah, didn't I, th know. I think our first record is in a storage unit somewhere, but he can't find the key. He gave it to some German woman, and <laughs> so that's why you, you can't get the first record anymore. Uh, well, you know, what? someone just uh, posted on the playlist uh, the first album's on iTunes, so. Uh, yeah, there you go. Everything's on okay. iTunes, yeah. So, well, there so, you go. so th thank you, anonymous listener, who just uh, posted the uh, the comment there. Um, and so Asbury Lanes tonight, uh, and then Blondie uh, with Blondie. When is that Sunday? Um, Sunday in uh, New York, and we have some Massachusetts states with them before that. Wow. So how how have the shows been going uh, with Blondie? Uh, well phenomenal. received. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it was kind of at first we're like, what? We're going on at seven thirty or eight, and then she follows right after us. But I kind of like playing earlier now. It's. it's Rather than Not this early today, but <laughs> oh, this was this was kind of this was tough because we were in <laughs> Philadelphia <laughs> last night till we played last night around midnight and didn't really oh. get out of there till four. Or so oh. well, I appreciate you making the uh, the extra effort. Oh, no, oh, no definitely, fun. yeah, this is really cool. So now, now you say Clem plays on Black Tears. No, he plays no. on lullabies. Oh, lullabies. Yeah, okay. On tonight, I got a bottle hung on a Sunday and a couple others. Yeah. Uh, so, and I, I'm obviously your friendship with him helped you get on the tour here. How did you How did you end up meeting him? Just from he came. Our sure. manager WC. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's fr he was friendly with Clem, and we showed him some early demos of Lullabies, and he was like, said he would do a track, and came in the studio and did a track, and then said he would do some more tracks, and we ended up with four tracks, which nice. was awesome for us. And then we got to play like kind of a New Year's <coughs> show with them um, in L.A., and a after that, we you know, hooked up the tour, which has been great for us and yeah, a lot of fun. Bonnie's just, it's, it's uh, I can't believe we're on tour with them. Every, <laughs> every time I see them, and Deborah Harry is as beautiful as ever, and her voice is just so strong, and they're just amazing. Nice. I mean, obviously, uh, an influence uh, uh, 
Oh, definitely. Before you, right? Definitely. One, one of many, yeah. <laughs> one, one of many, right. It's uh, <laughs> Well, it, it sounded great. I appreciate uh, that you were able to come in and play today. It, it sounded excellent. And uh, So everybody go to Asbury Park, uh, or if you're going to see Blondie on Sunday, make sure you get there early. So, uh, Miss Derringer, thanks again. Thank you. Thanks Joe, you're awesome. Joe. Thank you. All right, Gil, Thank thanks you, Gil. again. And Gil, you're awesome. Thanks. Gil rocks. Gil, uh, Kenny Young and the Eggplants, uh, Sunday? Yes, Saturday so if, if you don't, Sunday. oh, Saturday and Sunday. Both days, yes. Where's that at? At Clearwater Festival. At the Clearwater Festival. Big, uh, big, the Altamont uh, folk of, of folk. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get the act with Pete Seeger and chop the cables like Dylan was at Newport. That's all right. So, <laughs> so uh, you can catch Gil and uh, any, um, what, what's the other band? The, uh, the bass, uh, the wash tub? Uh, uh, the Jug Addicts. Jug Addicts. Yeah. What, any gigs of the Jug Addicts? Uh, Bar Best coming up soon and Brooklyn Wedstock. Oh, yeah, Brooklyn Woodstock. You know what, Gil, give a little rundown of uh, Brooklyn Woodstock. Okay. What is it, June 28th? June 28th at my house, and there's going to be a bunch of bands. It's uh, benefits for AIDS research and autism, and I'm getting married, too. So it's it's Wedstock oh. this year. <laughs> it's always been Brooklyn Woodstock. Now it's going to be Brooklyn Wedstock. So come on out. All right, cool. Uh, so there you have it. We'll, we'll have more information on that for you next week as it gets uh, closer. Well, congratulations, Gil. Thank you. Oh, nice. Well, I appreciate you coming down. Always does a phenomenal job. And uh, so thanks to Gil and uh, thanks to Miss Derringer for playing. It was that uh, was really great. And uh, like I said, next week we'll have live music from the Golden Dogs. And uh, we got a couple other things we're working on, but uh, I don't want to uh, announce it yet. But then the later on in the summer, uh, July 24th, uh, Steve Wynn returns uh, here at WFMU for about the 50th time. So 